from Crypto Universe. This is Ian from Cryptocurrency Gear. I'm also known as Techman34 on the Ethereum forums. And I've put together a guide for you to get started mining Ethereum. How to mine Ethereum on a PC, the beginner's guide. This is a beginner's guide. We will cover more advanced materials in different videos. But I wanted to get you up and running as quickly as possible. And this guide will accomplish that. Giving you all the details you need to get started quickly. So what do you need to get started? You need compatible hardware, so your GPU needs enough RAM, which is 3 gigabytes currently. This is required due to the DAG file that's needed for mining Ethereum. I will cover other hardware in the full text version of the guide, which you can download as a PDF at the end of this video. I'll show you how to get that. You need compatible operating system, which is Windows or Linux. There's no Mac at this time, and make sure that it is 64-bit. You need your proper GPU drivers installed. I will cover some different drivers that work well with different cards. But in general, you need your AMD drivers for AMD cards and NVIDIA drivers for NVIDIA cards. You need an Ethereum wallet address. We recommend the official Ethereum wallet that you can download from the GitHub or myetherwallet.com, which does not require you now to download the entire Ethereum blockchain. And you, so you can be up and running much more quickly and that's what we'll cover in this guide. You need the Ethereum mining application. This is the miner itself and for this guide we're going to be using the ever popular Claymore miner. I'll show you some tweaks in Windows that you'll need and I'll walk you through the mining pool settings and configuration of your miner itself. Not something you need but probably something you end up having which is pure excitement as you begin to print money with your computer. So again, welcome. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is install your graphics card drivers. So you need your video card drivers based on your AMD or NVIDIA cards. And so if you're with AMD, you're going to go to amd.com. You're going to go to support and drivers and enter in your GPU information and then click display results. And if you have a, a newer card, so one of the RX 5 series Go ahead and download that current version of the driver. If you have an older card, either the RX 400 series or anything before or up to R9 series, so R9s, R7s, anything prior to that, then you want to actually go to the older versions. So over on the right-hand side, you can download previous drivers and software. And there you can actually select an older version of the drivers that correspond to your card and these are known driver versions that work very well with the miner so for any R9 or older card that's AMD you want to use the version 15.12 driver for the RX 400 series you want to use 16.9.2 or 16.10.3 and then again for the RX 500 series, the newer cards, just get the current version. For NVIDIA cards, you're going to go to geforce.com, that's G-E-F-O-R-C-E.com slash drivers. Put in your card's information and download the current version of the NVIDIA driver provided. I'm not going to step through the entire installation process of video cards. I think that's pretty straightforward. As you normally would, click next, 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 okay and then reboot your system. All right, so the next step we're going to cover is getting your Ethereum wallet address. So you're gonna to go to myetherwallet.com and the first thing you need to do is set up a password that's secure and then create new wallet here you're going to download the key store file and then click I understand continue a good practice when you're setting up your wallet is to create a notepad and record the information that's provided so that you have it and you can store it as an encrypted file so I'm just going to enter in and, and again I'm not going to use this wallet beyond this guide uh, the password that I'm providing for the wallet as well as the information like the private key and the wallet address itself so that we can reference that later in setting up the miner as well. 
So copy your private key and paste that in. And then click Save Your Address. How would you like to access your wallet? We're going to click Key Store File and then select the file that they just let us download, which starts with UTC. And then click Open. And then you're going to be prompted to enter in your password again. So go ahead and enter in your full password. And then click Unlock. And then you'll see a wallet successfully decrypted message. From there you can scroll down and now you can grab your actual Ethereum wallet address. It starts with OX. And then you can paste in that full address. And this is the address that you would use to receive Ethereum from anyone else so you can share that publicly. And then save this notepad to our desktop as wallet info for easy access later in the process. All right, the next step is to download the Claymore Miner. So do a quick Google search for Claymore Ethereum Miner, and you'll see the bitcointalk.org link. That is his original post, and that is the only source that I recommend downloading the Claymore Miner links from. Here we're going to click on the Mega link. And when you get in here, you're going to look for the version that corresponds to your card. So we want the Catalyst version, which is the Catalyst and CUDA, which represents AMD and NVIDIA, and not the Linux version. We're going to click on that, download as zip. And this can take a few minutes for purposes of this video. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. And once it's ready to download, then go ahead and open it up. You're going to want to extract it. And I recommend putting it on your actual desktop for, again, for easy access. We're going to go in here very shortly to configure the actual miner. If you have downloaded the full version which contains all the versions and you're going to want to go in and get the most recent version and just extract and copy that. So we're looking for 9.6 at the time of this guide and I'm going to copy and paste that onto my desktop for easy access. The next step is to set up our minor pool settings. For this guide we are going to use ethermine.org and you're going to scroll down on the main page there to where you'll see the settings for the Claymore Miner. Then go to your desktop and open up the start file you're going to right click and click edit click run if prompted and this is going to open up notepad file where you can actually edit your batch file settings. So everything that's in this first box you're going to want to copy and paste into the start notepad file. Paste that in. And you can see we have to update the Ethereum address. Uh, real quick though before we do that, also you want to look at the server settings based on your location. So I'm actually on the East Coast, so I'm going to update the server to be US1. And just paste that in. Just paste whatever's most relevant for you based on your location. And now we need to update the address. So we're going to go back to our wallet info notepad that we created earlier. and copy our Ethereum address out of that notepad file and copy it right into the start batch file. At the end of that there's a dot 
and then the rig name is going to be your worker name for whatever you want to set up. So we're just going to call it Mining Rig 1. And then save as. This is an important part, guys. You need to make sure you, in the drop down box, choose all files. You need to convert this to a batch file. And the way we do that is by naming it and then entering in .bat at the end of that file name. So all files, .bat at the end of the name, ANSI encoding, and then click save. And then in your Claymore Miner file, you can actually delete the text version. And for the batch file itself, you are ready to go. Now, before we actually get started mining, I want to do a couple of Windows tweaks. The first is in the power settings. If you search for power settings, as your miner is going to run for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you want to make sure that it does not go to sleep when plugged in. So choose never under that. The next tweak that we are going to set up is to actually modify the size of your page file in Windows. So go to File Explorer, right click on your PC, go to Properties, go to Advanced System Settings, and then click on Settings under Performance. Then click on the Advanced tab. Uh, here we are going to choose Best Performance for Windows under Visual Effects, and then click on the Advanced tab and click on settings and then we want to deselect the automatically managed page file we want to manage it ourselves to a custom size we want it to be 16,384 bytes that is the equivalent of 16 gigabytes and then click set click OK click apply and click OK The next tweak is for Windows updates, which can be very interruptive to your mining process. So we're, we are going to modify that slightly. So go ahead and search for Windows updates, go into your settings, and instead of automatically, click notify to schedule a restart at a minimum. You can also click defer upgrades if you want. and then save that, close out. The last Windows tweak is going to be for Windows Defender as we do not want our miner to be flagged as a virus of any kind. So go into exclusions in Windows Defender settings and choose exclude file and then you will select your actual Claymore mining program, the actual EXE program within the folder. It's called ETH DCR Miner 64. Click on that and then that will set an exclusion uh, which is an exception so that your Windows Defender antivirus will not shut down your miner. Close that out. Close that out. Alright, we are ready to mine. So go back to your desktop now Go back into your Claymore Ethereum Miner folder, set up a shortcut to your desktop for your Miner BAT file, and then double click on your BAT file. It will start up the Claymore Ethereum Miner. You will see your cards recognized there. You'll see your environmental variables, all, those, all the set X information that you set, get set up. You'll see the DAG files get created on all of the cards, and you will be off and running. If prompted to allow access for your firewall, please click yes. And you're all set. You can see your speed here. It'll show the speed by each card. And if you need to see the statistics, just click S, and you'll see here as it pops up, your speed and information for the cards as it's hashing.
To check the status of your mining, go to the ethermine.org site. And then you will copy your wallet address and paste it into the top box where it says check status. So we're going to go back in our wallet info notepad, copy our wallet address, paste that in, and then click check status. It does take a few minutes when you actually start mining before you can see any statistics. So just give it some time and then you can refresh this page and you will see your minor stats. You'll see your speed, which is the reported speed, effective speed, average speed, all shown here. Your unpaid balance is what you've earned, how many active workers you have. And you can actually scroll down and see all of your workers that are online here. And as mentioned, to download a handy PDF version of this guide, just click the link below. That is it, guys. You are all set. I hope you enjoyed this beginner's guide on mining Ethereum on your PC. Please, if you have any questions, add comments and questions below. I will try to answer all your questions. And please like and subscribe to my channel for more great crypto mining content. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.